welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is Jasmine Barton Moore, author of Sparks Fly. And as you can see, I'm somewhere different. I'm not in my office right now, but it is Thanksgiving weekend. It's actually Thanksgiving Eve. So I really wanted to record this video for you guys. Um, right now I'm in DC. So basically, as you've read the title, it's basically how to write the perfect love scene. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stick around and let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Three tips for you guys on how to write a love scene. But before I get into that, by being a romance suspense author, I've learned that from my own writing, reading people's books and stuff like that, I've learned that love is different in every culture. What do I mean by that? Black love is different from white love, Asian love, and all that stuff like that. The only reason why I say that is because when I read someone's book, if I read it from a black author versus a white author, it's completely different in don't get me wrong, I mean, I have a lot of different romance books from the 1800s all the way to the present time, but it is different. So my three tips that is going to really help you, and sorry if I'm looking down because of course you know I have my phone with my notes on there. So yeah, I, I don't remember all this stuff, y'all. I just want you to know that. So basically tip number one, I would say if you're looking depending on what you're writing what type of romance scene so for me mine is the the normal romance girl meets guy blah 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 so i would say you want to study people by watching movies by watching regular people you want to talk to people see how they interact with their loved ones you're pretty much just studying everything about people and I kind of sent like that's how you get your characters too is by studying people because I know a lot of my characters are based on certain people lives and stuff like that also um, I feel like this will give you a better understanding with love scenes and stuff like that even if when you go to the movies and you watch movies with black actors and white actors you can see the difference and stuff like that so study people Tip number two, I would have to say is go into detail. I've read some books where it's pretty much like bang, bang, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, that wasn't really a good love scene, but maybe that was the thing that they were going for. That wasn't really my cup of tea. So when you're writing a love scene, you really want to go into detail, talk about their eyes, talk about what they're wearing, talk about the scenery, the room, all of that stuff. Also, let's see what I got. Yes. So pretty much what I said, you want to talk about everything, the appearance and stuff like that. So my third tip, tip number three would be don't be afraid to write the perfect love scene. And what I mean by that is... As an author or whatever your job field is sometimes you end up holding back because you don't want people to um, you don't want people to look at you a different way so when I read, wrote sparks fly if you haven't read it you should definitely check it out but when I wrote it I was like doubting myself so much to the point where I was I was wanting to change stuff and I didn't know how people would react. And that's also when I had wrote Hidden Secrets. I had written Hidden Secrets. That's the second romance book that's coming out before Sparks Fly. So I had started to change a lot of the stuff. But you don't want to do that. You want to stick to who you are. And how I think about it in my head is I have an actor who goes for an audition. And they have to become that character to sell it that they want that part but they don't act like that in their everyday life so i feel like when us as writers when we're afraid that's what i think about well this actor had to go and do this this and that to get this role but even though he's kissing or sleeping or whatever he's doing that might not be him in real life he's acting so when we write books and romance scenes you become that character and you become pretty much the actor of your book and you have to put yourself in their situation so i really hope that video was really really helpful to you guys out there um i don't know if my voice is low i really hope it was not low 
but <laughs> to see I'm not at home but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any tips about romance or whatever that I've missed that you want to talk about go ahead and leave them down below and let's get a conversation going but um, I'll see you guys in the next one remember stay beautiful and deuces